Former NFL player Zach Stacy will get to stay out of jail for now. Today, a judge ruled not to increase bond for Stacy, who is accused of violently attacking the mother of his child. New Six's Lauren Cervantes is live outside the courthouse where all of this just happened. Lauren. Well, that's right. The judge did not increase Stacy's bond. However, he did modify the condition, telling Stacy he will not be allowed to enter the state of Florida except for when he has a hearing scheduled. Additionally, the judge has ordered that Stacy live with his mother in the state of Alabama after Stacy's attorney filed a change of address this morning. But the primary purpose of today's hearing was to hear from Stacy's ex girlfriend, Kristen Evans, Things are way different now. who shared a video that's now gone viral in which she says it shows Stacy beating her. Here's what she had to say. You've seen the video? What he did to me? I was slapped. Punch literally picked up and thrown into my TV and then picked me up and slammed me into my son's bouncy seat by my throat. This is not the first time that he's been violent with me. Evans telling the judge today that she's afraid for her safety and the safety of her children. We are also learning that Stacy will be seeking inpatient treatment at a mental health facility in Colorado starting December 1st. Stacy asking for permission to attend that 30 day program and the judge allowing it. When you get released from that program, where do you intend to reside? Uh, just go home to back to Alabama. Okay, that's 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 place, place of residence myself. The judge also reminding Stacy that he's not allowed to have any contact with Evans and that he is also not allowed to have any firearms on his person or inside that home where he will be living with his mother and his 24 year old brother in Alabama. For now in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6.